Uh, Egypt must seem like a calm oasis compared to last week. What was your impression of Sudan? <laughs> well, two impressions of Sudan, because obviously we were in two different countries. The southern part of Sudan, which is very undeveloped, um, very, very friendly, but, but it's, it's, difficult, it's difficult to be there. So we were in pretty primitive conditions. Uh, we had lots of permit issues and then things actually just got progressively worse as we got up to the Sudan. And uh, actually the Sudanese were exceptional because they were just, they were so welcoming and they were so anxious to present their country in a favorable light because of course they suffer because they're so overshadowed by Egypt that they're desperate for publicity and recognition. And there are some really phenomenal sights to be seen there that aren't well understood in the West. You know, they have a, the Nubian culture predates the Egyptian pharaoh culture, so, but they have a tradition of pyramids. They've got the Nile there. So, you know, that was our first really great experience of the Nile. And, and of course, the Nubian desert. I had one of the finest flying days of the whole trip flying over the Nubian desert, which is, which is in the Sudan. Great. Has, has the steerman had any problems, or is it just going going great guns? No, the steerman has just not missed a beat. It's just sensational. I mean, I had a bit of shimmy in the tail wheel, so again, landing on some of these big tarmac strips, and, and they've got sort of undulations in them, but it can set up a, a vibration in my tail wheel. Um, so I just have to literally bring the aeroplane to a halt to stop the harmonic. So we've just been adjusting the wires on the on the tailwheel to try and remove that. But no, it's the, the aeroplane has just been brilliant. Okay, you you mentioned you, you had some some great sights when you were flying through Sudan. What 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 have been the highlights of your views from the air so far? Well, you know, I love deserts, so I think just the the, the, the vastness of the desert and this kind of mineral elemental landscape. So I find that deeply exciting. It's quite difficult to really see ruins, as in, as in, you know, ancient ruins from the air, because even at two, three hundred feet, these things kind of shrink into into the ground. But, uh, and of course, here in Egypt, we're just not allowed to get anywhere near them. So, flying into Luxor yesterday, I can see the sort of western mountains and what is the Valley of the Kings, but I'm not allowed within three or four nautical miles of that. So I'm, I can't see much. I can only see terrain. Okay. And uh, finally, how have the Imarsat communications been working for you on this journey? Can, can you show us what you're using now? Well, they're sort of behind me here, but we've got, we've got, you know, this, the, the whole terminal and the, and the sat phone pro. So all of those have been a big part of our, our daily kit, really. So this is just helping us keep in contact because, you know, we've had very intermittent internet communications just through conventional sources, limited uh, mobile signals. So this has really made a huge difference to us. So uh, it's, it's been a tremendous asset, frankly.